Now, have you ever heard of imminent domain? <clears throat> imminent domain is the process in which our government could take your property, and they could take your property for reasons of building a military plant or an expressway or a dam or something like that. They have to have a reason to take your property. But the eminent domain says that, yes, the government can take your property, but it must be for public use, and it must go to public use. It can't, it can't go to a apartment complex. That's not public use. That's private. It can't go to anything else. But they could take it for public use, they could make it move, and it must go for public use. When they're done, it must be done with public use. And also, they must pay you a fair market value. They just can't come in there and take all of your property. Now, why is this in the Constitution? Why is it in the Constitution? It's, it's very important that we have this in the Constitution because the Constitution is the law. No other law supersedes the Constitution. Not one other law. But the reason they put that in there is so that the government can't take the property and give it to their buddies at a super profit. They can't take the property from you without reason, without paying you a fair market value and without it going to the public, but they're doing this all the time. They're doing it all the time, and you're allowing it. You get a piece of paper that says you owe this much money property tax. Now, the, the thing about property tax is that they do not have a contract. There's no contract. They never tell you what the consequences are, and if you don't pay it, they will ruin your life. They will. They'll take every single thing you own for pennies on a dollar. 5% maybe is what they were trying to do on me. 5% is really 2.5% because they added usury rates on the interest rates when I couldn't pay my property tax when I was too sick. And I'm a disabled veteran, and I almost die over and over and over. It's real bad. I have real bad internal problems. That's why I'm up here in the mountains now have to be away from everyone but we have to think because I went through this experience and people are going through this every single day where the government says you owe us property tax they take your house they throw you in the street they take all of your property your books your cameras your TV your guitar your musical instruments your bed everything is theirs your car you have your car on the property, they will take your car, they'll take your motorcycle, your boat, anything you have on a property, it's theirs. There's no contract with this. That, that's fraud, see? And the fact that they say, we owe them, no matter what, we have to pay them, we don't have a choice, that's extortion. And since it's forced servitude, they're forcing us to do this, uh, that's slavery. I'm not kidding you. The slavery laws say this. They can't force you to do this. They can't force you to do anything. And cruel and unusual punishment. Well, here's a person that's sick. I was sick in bed. I couldn't get up for years, literally years. I was in bed for years. And they come over and say, okay, you owe us all this money or we're going to take everything. They said, you could come to the hearing, but you cannot redeem your property. The hearing means they stopped the due process of law. You don't even get a trial on this. They just take it. They take it. And if you're sick, they will take it. If you lose your job because of Obama or Clinton said your job's overseas, sorry, a lot of people lost their houses. If you live in an area where it had hyperinflation like Sacramento and San Jose area, 
Those people lost their houses after they were paid off and they were on a fixed income of small income. They had everything made. They lost their houses and the government took it. And what did they do with it? They sold it to apartment complex owners. Anybody. You, if you have the money to bond yourself to go over there, you can buy the house. But you have to have the money. You have to have all kinds of money in your pocket. You can't just walk up and say, I want to buy a house, and then I can finance it. No. But the law has gone to an extreme. It's taken your property with all kinds of other laws, broken the extortion, as I've mentioned already. It's breaking the laws of eminent domain. They must give you fair market value, and they must have a reason to take it, other than you owe them an extortion fee. That's what it is, an extortion fee. And they take your dogs and they put your dogs in the pound and throw you on the street. And there is no program to help you if you're sick, if you're disabled, they don't have a program. But if you're a refugee, they have all kinds of programs. If your kid has a bunch of babies, oh yeah, a whole bunch of babies. You can have the program, but if you own your house, they will take everything you own in just three years. And you have no recourse. They take everything. So that there's an imminent domain law, as I look at it, and the property tax, how it pertains to property tax, which is a total criminal act from the top to the bottom. God bless you, because we all need it. This rights, life, liberty, or property with due process, meaning show me what I did wrong, prove it to a neutral jury, let me defend myself and challenge you and give me the right to appeal. The law has to be fair. It has to be, as Aquinas would have said and did say, a rule of right reason for the common good, not a rule of convenience for the good of some. You're home at night and someone knocks on the door and you answer the door and there's a guy with a gun and the guy says, give me your money, I want to give it away in your name. Is this guy crazy? Call the police, you find out he's an IRS agent. So. That's what taxation is. It is the government extracting money from you against your will to give it away in your name. I'll say this plainly, I've said it before, taxation is theft. It presumes that the government has a higher claim on our property than we do. Do we really own anything? Can the government take that infamous leather jacket that you're now wearing? Answer, yes, it can. I just if it pays you the fair market.